Hello, fellow diamond painting addicts, and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne, and I'm here today to share with you some of my recent finds from GBFKE. So I have a couple of canvases that I'm kind of excited about, and I have this. So I'm going to start with this. This is a pen set, because as we all know, you can't ever have enough pens. Let me get these out of the way. And it comes with a whole slew of things. So you get the little sticky mat, which I'm excited to try because the one that I have currently is like super duper sticky. And I was trying it to help with the issues in my shoulder. And it literally, it was so sticky that I was having trouble getting the, the tray off of it. I don't need it quite that sticky. And then you get two pink little boats, which I thought was so cute. I don't use these these boats. They're normally green, but I thought the fact that they were cute or that they were pink was really cute. So you get pink boats and then you get, of course, pink wax. So there's a bunch of pink wax in here. It looks like it's about six or eight pieces. And then you get a pink pen. Look at this cute little thing. And I love the profile of it with all the little knobbies. And then you get these cute screw in rainbow tips. So you can use these tips in your pen. And I always, almost always one of my ends is a straightener and you just screw it in like that. So this one is nice and flat too. That looks like it would be a nice sharp straightener. And then I always prefer, you get an angled tip. I don't like the angled tips. I always go with just the single, single tip. So typically when I diamond paint, what I'll have is one like this, where I've got a straightener and a single placer. And then I'll have another one that has multi-placers or probably a single and a multi-placer on it. But yeah, they're, everything is pink. And the, the tips here are that those cute rainbow ones. So I just thought this was super cute. And I love that these screw in instead of just fitting in. I feel like they break less that way. I don't know if that's actually true, but that's my feeling on it anyway. And I really like the way the rainbow tips like look. But I thought this pen was just really super cute. And since everything was pink, because I'm on a pink kick lately. And like I said, I've never seen pink trays. I've seen, you know, the green trays are pretty ubiquitous and that's what you get in most of your, your kits, but I've never seen any pink ones before. So, and as always, I will put links in the description down below. This was, I think I said, but if I didn't, it's 1129 and you get all that stuff and they had different colors. So like if you like purple or blue, I'm not sure what all colors they had, but I'm guessing there's purple and blue and yellow wax. So there's probably those color options for all of these. So there's that. And then these two canvases I'm excited about because they are public domain. And it seems like a lot of these budget companies are starting to include more public domain artwork. I don't know if that means they're becoming aware that there's lots of art out there for them to choose from or if people are just buying it and so they're following that trend. Either way, I'm happy about it because that means more choices that I can share with you. And some of this, you know, public, public domain art is really pretty cool. Okay, so we have our drills, standard toolkit, boat, plate of wax, pink pen. Again, we get our little green boat. And then we have our canvas. So this one is a 30 by 40. And it's this really kind of, cool vintage um, Art Nouveau style. And I actually think even at this kind of smaller size, a 30 by 40, that it will look good. So we have our schematic on both sides. It's only got 20 colors, which isn't a lot, but when you look at the picture of the art, it's really, there aren't that many colors in the original. See, so there you can see the thumbnail and you've got, you know, some of this ornate, stuff at the top. There's a fleur-de-lis and then you've got this girl with all the kind of flowing flowers and her hair and all of that. 
It does have the DMC codes, so that's good. It is nice and sticky where you need it to be. And then let's get to our drills. Whoops, I need to measure it first. Getting ahead of myself here. So it's sold as a 30 by 40. This is 23 by 32 and a half, roughly. So not too bad. And then we get to our drills. Now, not my favorite because it's these little bags of drills, but I'll survive. I think it's just my old eyes. My old eyes because sometimes I have trouble seeing the colors or the numbers on the, the things. These are in black, so these aren't too bad. So we've got this gray, only two bags of black. That's not bad for, for this size of painting. We get a green, a brown, two different shades of like, this is like a light sage. This is more of like a tan color. And then we get this very vibrant orange color, which is gonna be in her hair, which I just, I think that's gonna be really pretty. And then of course, the next lighter shade of orange, we get a brown, a very pretty dark red, like a brick red, like a tan color, another tan, slightly darker, this kind of, I don't know, dark orange-ish color. And then we get some more browns, a dark brown and a lighter brown. It's almost like a mustard color. And then we get another kind of light orange. It's like a very light brown. And then we get this, which is probably gonna be a flesh color. And then some yellow. So lots of colors in here, pretty colors. But I really like the color scheme with the dark browns and then the orange of her hair and the fact that it was public domain. This is a piece of artwork by an artist called, I think it's pronounced Paul Berthon, 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 I'm not sure. Um, this actual piece of art is um, something he did. Uh, I think this is the one called The Hermitage, I think. I got two by him and I'll show you the next one in a minute, but I think this is that one. Anyway, this one was done in 1872 and yeah, I just think it's gonna be really pretty. And the 30 by 40s are not that um, long to work up. They go pretty quickly. So I'm anxious to see what this one looks like. So yeah, and this one was $5.04. So there's that one. And then the other one that I got is by that same artist, Paul Berthon. Let me find the, the end here so I can get it open and show you what this one looks like. This one is a little bit of a different color scheme as you can see. Let me get it rolling here so I can roll it up. Okay, not sure what those are for. Little plastic pieces. So standard toolkit, boat, plate of wax, pink pen, just like the other one. Again, we've gotten, we get our little small packages of drills, which are not my favorite, but I'll live, like I said. Okay, and then here's the second one. This one is also a 30 by 40. And it says Salon de, however you say 100 in French. And it's just this really cute, again, kind of Art Nouveau style, but this one is in blues and yellows. And I just really like the style of it. So here you can see there's the thumbnail. And yeah, I just thought these were both really cool. This one is a piece of art that he did in I think 1895, if I've got my notes right. And she's just wearing this cute kind of off the shoulder dress, you know, the vintage kind of hairstyle. And she's got all these bangles and the little snake wrap on her arm. So we get a schematic on both sides. We do get the DMC code, so that's good. And 21 colors. The other one only had 20, this one has 21. 
trying to look at the background here and see if there's any colors that I think or symbols that would give me issues. Well, I think they did a pretty good job of keeping them separate enough that they don't look similar. P's and S's are not that great next to each other, but the S is a different color. The, the background behind the S is a darker color than the, the P, so that's good. Nothing I see that I think will give me any issues. So it's a 30 by 40. It is nice and sticky where you need it to be. And also it's got this, the Salon Day 100 down here. You could even just cut it off and not do this part if you didn't want that part of it and just do, you know, this is um, the picture. I might do that. I don't know, I'll have to look at it. So this one is 23. Is it 32 and a half like the other one? This one is 33. So 23 by 33. So it's a little bit longer than the other one it looks like. This one is also $5.04. And now let's look at all of our drills. These look like they're printed in black too, which makes them a bit easier for me to read. So I appreciate that. Okay, so this one, is this 806? Yes, okay. 806, not 908, 806, good to know. I don't have a 908, so good, I can't confuse that. Okay, so we've got lots of 3866 here. I'm gonna guess that's her skin color and then some of the flowers. And then we get a light tan, a very light mauve. We get a green, an olive green. And then we get this kind of mustardy tan color. Some pink for some of the flowers, I'm gonna guess. There's our 939. There's some brown, some dark green, some very light, kind of a greenish gray, some mauve, and then we get this blue and this blue and then we have like a, a dark gray another pale green a light gray kind of that mustardy color some more dark blue and then kind of a lighter blue so yeah i'm actually really excited about both of these again i'm excited that they're having more public domain art that we get to choose from because some of that public domain art like i said i really like both of these images and not anything that i'd ever seen before but super cool so just to recap and if i didn't say this one was also five dollars and four cents so we've got both of our paul berthons here and we've got the blue lady as i'm gonna call her i guess she's not really blue the background is blue but the blue one, and then we've got this one with the, the really pretty oranges and browns. And then we've got our little kit of all of the pink goodness for tools. So yeah, I will put links in the description box down below for all of these so you guys can check them out for yourselves. Like I said, I'm really excited. They're starting to carry some more of these kind of vintage artworks, these public domain artworks. So you can check those out. I usually do a search using the word either vintage retro doesn't get you get you kind of like like old coca-cola type stuff uh, vintage seems to get you more of this kind of thing so whenever i go do a search i always do a search for vintage to see what i can find so yeah description box will have all of the links so that you can check these out and that's it for me today guys thanks for sticking around till the end of the video before you leave don't forget to do all the things if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always guys, thanks so much for watching.